Online retailer ASOS may have seen its shares double over the last year, but its latest quarterly results show there's a few bumps on the road. I think the beauty of something like ASOS is you're actually seeing in its most mature markets like the UK and in Europe, it's actually still seeing accelerated sales. So yeah, absolutely, there were some pockets of weakness, but overall I think the sales report was much stronger than expected. Whilst ASOS is doing well in the UK, it's still got a way to go in the US and China. The key thing is ASOS is largely judged on sales at this point. You know, the, the earnings, the price to earnings is ridiculously high. But from a sales growth standpoint, I think ASOS is still doing very well. If anything, you know, the numbers, the earnings side of things was a little bit disappointing yesterday because effectively they're saying that they're still investing quite a lot behind the platform. You know, they're going into newer markets like China, where it's still very early, but they're putting a whole lot of cost in. They've still got a lot of stuff to do in terms of merchandising locally, particularly in the US. Looking at investing in retail, well, it's all about the retailers that have a strong online platform. If you don't have the right prices or a convenient way, people are going to go elsewhere. And by default, I think people like Amazon have become such a convenient way to shop and they profile you so cleverly that quite naturally people are moving away there. But the other winners are the likes of like, you know, people like John Lewis and Next who found a way to conveniently deliver to the customer but also have good product that they can sell. So as long as you have good product and good pricing, it's crucial that you have the right online platform, otherwise you're struggling.